Dirtle Magic. Welcome to Dirtle Magic. Today we're playing some more Winona Glass Cannon. Uh, if you don't know, and you haven't been watching, Winona is a 2 red white legendary 4 4 creature. Uh, whenever a non human creature you control attacks while she's out, exile the top 6 cards, or sorry, look at the top 6 cards of your library. Put a human from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom in random order. A mouthful, but the aim of the deck is to try and, uh, try and out aggro our opponents with hard to kill armies, at least initially. Uh, looking at our hand, one land doesn't cut it, so we will mulligan. Uh, this is much better. So we'll keep there. Uh, hopefully we learned our mistakes from last game, or at least that I did, that I should attack either the aggro player all the way, or the person with probable board wipes. We are playing against Sisse Weatherlight Captain. Two white for a legendary 2-2. Two, two. She gets 1-1 one, one for each color among other legendary permanents you control. White, blue, black, red, green. Search your library for a legendary permanent card with converted mana costs less than Sisse's power. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Um, notably, Gets Planeswalkers. We have a Blink Moth Nexus coming down for Cosmic Butcher of Truth. Uh, when they cast this spell, they draw four cards. It has Annihilator 4, being one of the original Drowsy Titans. Um, and then it says if it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, it sort of shuffles their graveyard into their library. Uh, it's 10 generic mana for 12 12. Not terrible. Uh, terrible for us, perhaps, though. Temple of Malady coming into play. Temple of Malady. So Madrotha is 3 black, green, blue for a 6-6. During each of their turns, they may play a land card and cast permanent spell of each type from their graveyard. Permanent types being land, enchantment, planeswalker, artifact, and creature. Uh, let's go planes. Fake it like we have like swords or something, maybe if it ever matters this early. And we'll pass the turn to our opponents. So our game plan is uh, get down a bunch of non-humans early. Drop our commander, attack with non-humans, get humans into play from the deck. Hopefully don't whiff. We I have whiffed some before. Uh, Blink Moth is active. Uh, let's see. Just a 1-1 one -one flyer. Going into the Sisse opponent. Mainland, Vessel of Nascency? Nascency? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, sacrifice it. Reveal top four cards of your library. You may put an artifact creature, enchantment land, or planeswalker card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. So, essentially hits everything they want, plus the enchantment itself is something they want. So, a bit of self-milling for Madrotha. Let's go Mountain Iron Mirror. Pass. Uh, the Mirror are an odd choice. They're not human, so they will trigger Winota, but having them be mana dorks, hmm. They don't really, I don't really want to get her out any faster. Felwar Stone coming down for Sisse. Let's see, they have all colors available to them from the Felwar Stone, so that's nice. Pristine Talisman. Tap to add Carlos, you gain one life. Expedition Map. To tap, crack it. Go get any land you want to your hand. Spring Bloom Druid. There's the battlefield your Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. You may sacrifice a land. Sorry, it's like a Haro. If you do, search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them on the battlefield tapped. Shuffle your library. You trade the untapped lands in for the body, I suppose. There we go. Uh, all right, a land. That's good. Land count being increased. Slightly working. Uh, let's go ahead and do the mountain. Uh, let's keep the white up just in case. Hordling Outburst. Three tokens. That'll work. Eh, <laughs> Yeti Goblins. Those are some of my favorite. Alright. Uh, we'll just roll it on over to our opponent. Uh, keep wide up for that path to exile. Never know when you might want it. Enlightened Tutor for Sisse. Yes. Collective Restraint. This is a domain one. We have to pay X, where X is the amount of basic land types they control. I had to get one of these myself, actually. Uh, so right now they have one. So that might actually be fine. 
but we're probably attacking to someone else. We need to see if we can get War Priest of Thune out and down to destroy that. Expedition map gets cracked. Let's go see what they get. All right, looks like they got land. Ancient Tomb, one of the uh, tap it for two. So they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Getting there. Mudrotha's turn. Four mana, six cards in hand. Let's see if they drop another land source or go get one. Temple of Deceit. Blue, black, scry. Burnish heart down for Madrotha. All right, rolls over our turn. Yeah, extra lands really turn out for us this game. Let's cast our general. Uh, I say, let's see. All in at Madrotha or all in at Kozilek. All right, four non-humans going into the Kozilek player. Four triggers. About as good as it gets on this kind of turn. Uh, we could have had... Ooh, Gerard. Board white protection, that's nice. Uh, let's send that into Madrotha. And then I think if we can hit something big, we send it into Kozilek. Uh, let's go Fumiko. I'm interested in... I just added that to the deck. I'm interested to see how it might work out for us this early in the game. Um... The Geist or the Pumper? I think the Pumper? Yeah, let's go Gold Knight Commander into Kozilek. Uh, Loyal Pro Angrath's Marauders. Sure. This will definitely need to have them to force a board wipe. So we will now do double damage. Uh, could still have Titan's Presence, but this will force them to use it. Alright, yep, we got a block. See, that one extra life. When those uh, tap lands will give you the one life. That's that's what I mean. That one life can save you. I didn't know we'd hit Angraths. Uh, now I imagine board wipes galore. Luckily, we have land coming in. And board wipe? Karametra. Okay. I can deal with that. Uh, if we can hit War Priest on our next turn and kill that enchantment, we're in. Uh, Kozlik quits. That's fair. Radiant Emissary. Uh, went to die, search your library for basic land card, put in the play tapped. They tried to attack into the Sisse player. It was an illegal attack because they need to pay one, I think. Uh, two. Need to pay two. I think we just take it, only because I don't know what instance they might have. Usually, the Majortha doesn't run a lot of instance, but all it takes is a death touch of some kind. No one's on Psych Rift just yet. All right, another land. Perfect. All right, let's just go to attacks. Get the four triggers. Uh, make sure we hit Sisse as hard as we can, I think. Triggers. Let's see. Hope for War Priest of Thune. There he is. Uh, Captain of the Watch and Banisher Priest. Don't need that just yet. All right, and on the first drop, too. That's nice. Uh, because they're not declared as attackers, we will not need to uh, pay that tax. That's good. That is some good luck right there. War Priest of Thune coming down, killing the Domain Enchantment. Thalia's Lancer is coming into play. I'll get to tutor a legendary creature. Uh, let's see. Get our rose. Another trigger. Manic Vandal or Banisher Priest. Let's do Vandal. Blow up the Felwar Stone. That way we can keep them off Sisse for a sec, maybe. At least the activation. Let's do Aldrich. Swing it over at Sisse. And finally the attack triggers end. ETB's end. Alright, they'll get a land. Sacrificing the heart. Alright. So I think second main, Iroa's uh, keep path to exile up from Madrotha. Let's go damage to you at the damages. That was only first strike. All right, we win the game. Lucky on the Thune, lucky on the Vandal. That's what I'm talking about. 
Thune. I know it's at the low end of things, but sometimes you just need something with more utility than smacking face. If you like the content you saw here today, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified of my new videos and share and like so everyone can come and just turtle with us. If you have other content you like on YouTube, other creators, go and watch their videos, support them, hit like, hit share. I know they'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. We're all in this together during this time. Please be responsible. Follow the guidelines. Stay safe out there. And after all this, maybe I'll see some of you and we can sit down and dirtle with some magic. Bye.